All right, buddies, we're back. It's uh, Sunday, I think it's, maybe it's day 12. I can't remember the days, but anyway, yesterday I didn't train. I'll tell you why. We can consider it a failure or we can consider it whatever we want, but the fact is that uh, yesterday it was a long day. There was lots of stuff that needed to happen. I was uh, helping my parents with some moving stuff. We were working on the book. Uh, combined with you know the usual family stuff that I've already talked about before with uh, you know the little boys having some troubles and uh, anyway the point is that the first uh, chance that I had to get any time at all that I could uh, use for myself to go running was at 2 a.m. this morning uh, that was and I seriously contemplated it when uh, when uh, me and Mandy swapped, so I was up with Frank, and then I, you know, as we know, we do it in shifts. So I was up holding Frank up, and then 2 a.m. we swapped, and I gave him to Mandy, and I could have gone for a run then. But you know, I was the last few nights before that, I was averaging less than four hours sleep a night, and I was up till 2 a.m. again, and I was just like, I was at the end of my rope, and I went, nah, I gotta sleep. <laughs> So I did, and I had nearly seven hours sleep last night, and I feel like a new person today. Uh, so now I'm gonna go running. Um, so yeah, technically I guess I failed my 100 day challenge yesterday to get the minimum half hour of exercise every day for 100 days. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't do that yesterday. Uh, but personally I don't. <clears throat> I don't consider it a failure. Yeah, I didn't complete the challenge, but I'm gonna keep on going with it. I'm gonna keep on pushing on to 100 days. Uh, and I look at it like this. So, you know, I was aiming for an A plus. An A plus would have been 100 days straight of half an hour uh, exercise every day for 100 days. That would have got me an A plus. I can't get an A plus now. That's out the window. Does that mean I just drop everything and go for an F? No, it means now I'm shooting for an A. All right, an A is still pretty good. You know, if I get 90 out of 100 days, I would, get, I would consider that a day, that an A. That's, you know, 90%. That's pretty good. I'm hoping to get a lot more than that. I'm hoping to get 99 out of 100 days. <laughs> but uh, who knows? I, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for 99 out of 100 days now. I'm not saying it's, uh, it's a failure. It's just not as good as it could have been. And, uh, and I do feel like it was worth uh, missing yesterday. You know, I, I did 10 days in a row. And I missed yesterday, and, and uh, you know, half an hour running, missed a half an hour run so I could get seven hours of sleep. Uh, you know, if I did the half hour run, it wouldn't have just been a half an hour of sleep lost. It probably would have, you know, it's hard to go to sleep straight after training, so it might have ended up being, you know, two hours of it missed sleep, and I might have only got five hours, and today would be looking a lot different. So, um, I'm about to go for a run. Who knows, maybe I'll get two, ex two training sessions in today to make up for yesterday, or maybe I'll just let it go and be done with it and, uh, and move on. But anyway, I'm feeling much better about life in general today because I've had some sleep and we know that sleep does amazing things for our mood. Uh, let's go and get this run done. Yesterday I failed. Today I set a new best. Oh, just finished my 30 minute run. Did an out and back one, turned around at 15 minutes. I decided to go 15 minutes with the wind and then see if I could get back to where I started going against the wind. <clears throat> it was a pretty strong wind and it slowed me down, but I got it done. I did 5.8 Ks in 30 minutes. Awesome, creeping towards six. Oh, this is what a man on halfway reasonable sleep can do. <laughs> oh. So I'm happy with that. Oh. Again, I didn't particularly enjoy the run, but I'm glad I did it. It's good to suffer, even if it is only for half an hour. Oh. So it got me, got me thinking about what is failure. And I keep on, uh, in this Spud Fit Challenge group that I run, where I coach people on healthy eating and eating only potatoes, 
I'm always telling people that when they, you know, they do well for a period of time and then they eat something they shouldn't and they say they failed, I'm always telling people that it's only a failure if you don't learn from it. And it's only a failure if you, if you let it get you down and you, you give up. <clears throat> and it's only a, it's only a failure if, if it doesn't, uh, if you can't use it to improve you in some way. So that's what I'm trying to do with this. Yesterday didn't work out for me. I'm not considering it a failure. I'm just considering it a learning experience and I'm growing from it. And there you go, today I did my best run. So we're back on the horse and we're moving on. There you go. Run lunch. This is a pretty big bowl. It's uh, just cubed air fried potatoes. I, uh, and then about two tablespoons of uh, pasta sauce on it. It's a fat free bolognese tomato based pasta sauce with some uh, nutritional yeast and some chili flakes. Uh, we're talking about two tablespoons to like uh, over a kilo of potato there. So it's 2.2 pounds of potatoes to two tablespoons of sauce. So we're keeping it pretty minimal and delicious <laughs> and great running food great recovery food all right so there you have it <clears throat> since uh since that meal you just saw i have taken teddy to the football today had a dad and son day with teddy at the footy we saw the mighty demons win and uh and while i was there i ate a uh probably a kilo and a half of uh, hawaiian purple sweet potato took it with us to the game and, uh, and right now I'm out with Frank. I got home from the footy and I took Frank. I've got him, you can't see him really well in the dark there, but I'm out for a walk with Frank. Got him strapped to my chest. And because uh, basically for those of you that don't know, the only way he sleeps with, a, he's got severe reflux and the only way that he sleeps is if, I, if we hold him upright. And the best way that he sleeps is if I go walking with him on my chest. So I do this for uh, a few hours every night. My record in a day so far is 10 hours of walking with Frank on my chest. <laughs> Lucky I can work on my phone while I'm walking. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, today was a good day. Uh, I don't regret uh, not training yesterday so that I could get some extra sleep. I think that was a good decision. I'm feeling better. Uh, my mood has been really good today and it hasn't been so good the last while because there uh, are a variety of factors, but sleep being a big one. So uh, yeah, I still very much intend to do, to not miss a day between now and, and day 100, that I would like to get 99 out of 100 days training. That would be really good. But you know, sometimes life gets in the way and I'm prepared to accept that. Uh, in extreme circumstances. <laughs> All right, that's it from me today. Um, yeah, good learning experience, good day. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, then subscribe and share and like this video. And of course, check the uh, description for a link to my new book. If you want to support what I'm doing, then the best thing you can do for me is, uh, is buy the book. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Spud up.